project is making a bracelet with a water bottle and buttons. I love buttons. Most of you know that. I love all the different ones. These are the Bloomingthal Lansing. Let's take a look. For today's project, I'm using a plastic water bottle. My favorite one is the Smart Water Bottles, but there also is, um, because it's all flat, also Aquafina has a nice flat area on um, their bottles. What you're going to do is you're going to use some uh, masking tape and just tape off your different um, sizes that you want of your, your bracelets. And then you're going to take a craft knife and you're going to cut it apart. And that's what I've done here. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to trim the excess so right down to the line of the masking tape. The masking tape makes a perfect size. Make sure you get it straight on the bottle for your bracelet. And remember it's the size of the masking tape that's going to determine the size or the width of your, your bracelet. So you want to make sure that uh, probably not quite as wide as an inch. Uh, I think this one is 5 eighths inch that I have here for this particular bracelet that we're using with buttons. Okay, we're gonna... Now on this one, because I want the, to see the clearness of the bracelet, I take off the masking tape. On other ones that I've covered it with fabric, I just usually leave the masking tape right on. And if you do have some of the label on here, which I seem to have a little sticky part there, just use a label remover to remove that stickiness. Let me show you the buttons. All kinds of really cool buttons. Look at the flower and leaf buttons and there's some sparkle buttons. And these are all from Bloomingthal Lansing. They have a wonderful line of buttons. Look at the alphabet buttons. Here's some plain white ones, but they have some really neat textures. And then there's some wonderful ones that look like they're marble. And look at these over here that are uh, retro, smaller ones that are marble. And look at the fun uh, cupcakes and um, sweets. And then there's some wonderful kind of mod flower ones. Today I'm going to show you using these flower ones because I really like these. So we have our bracelet. The next thing we need is a paper punch and I'm using an eighth inch paper punch to create my hole. I'm going to just create a hole there. I have some embroidery floss. Each one is tied on with embroidery floss. I'm using the Aline's uh, original tacky glue in the gold bottle just to put a little bit of glue on the end of my um, embroidery floss. It helps to get it through the hole. So I just take my finger, dab it into the glue Put some glue on the edge, and it just takes just a few seconds for it to dry. Now choose your buttons, and if you want to stack buttons on top of buttons, then this is what you want to do. Now for each button that you're going to put on, or each little collection of buttons, you're going to want a small button to go behind it, and that's what helps to hold it onto the bracelet. You can use these itty bitty little buttons or you can use the smaller buttons. So I'm going to put that one on first. I'm going to put my little itty bitty button on first. And so I come up through the hole. Get my glue off my hands. And just come up through the hole. and then go back down through the hole. These are little tiny holes. I like these smaller ones because you can't really see them on the inside because these are all going to the inside. Come up through the hole that we punched. And then thread on your button collection that you're going to put on. One will go through one hole, 
and the other will go through the other hole. And I want to put like a center for this flower. Whoop. And this one's got really tiny little holes. And it, what you do on that case is just roll the embroidery floss and a little bit tighter and it'll go through the hole then. There it is. Okay, then we're going to tie it off and you're going to tie it one time and then knot it and then just clip off you just have a little thread coming up so you have your collection and then you have this little button on the inside that's holding it on now you can start on the next one so I want to take let's say I want to put a leaf on here I want to find out where it's going to go I like it to kind of come underneath that flower button so I know that that one's going to be right about there so I'm going to put my hole there and let's cut some more thread here again putting your glue on the end works perfect to get it through the holes Take a little bitty button here. Go through. And then come up through this hole. And I'm not going to put any any um, topper on this one. I like this leaf one. So I'm just going to come up through each hole. And sometimes you have to adjust it a little bit. I want to make sure I tie it exactly where I want. So you have to pull them around a little bit. Tug on a little bit on your embroidery floss, make sure it's tight, and then again tie it in a knot. Oops. And cut it. So again, you have your one on the inside and then you just continue to go around and again putting underneath and each one you punch now let me show you the two that I have here here's the fun one with the the cupcakes you can see how I've got the cupcakes some are going upside down and all of my buttons are on the inside when you put it on you don't even see those buttons isn't that fun and also I have this flower one and I really stack these up here there's like four or five because this is a wonderful collection of flowers and they also have some really cool little felt um, flowers here too again you won't see the inside of the um, the bracelet lots of fun and uh, love all these bl uh, wonderful Bloomingthal Lansing buttons